Hello everyone, welcome to another Gotcha Weekend Update. It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with some of my gotchas. It's the thing I do every Sunday, and I plan to keep on doing it. So, yeah. So today's gotcha, starting with the first gotcha, of course, of the Sunday. It's Sunday, so the reason I do this, sorry, I'm still a little bit discombobulated from all the stuff. But it's fine. We're going to get through it. So the thing I do on every Sunday is I usually, uh, not a lot of people watch videos on Sunday. So what I'm going to do is start doing some, not even start, I have started doing this thing where I kind of just play my any all of my gotchas in one go and just kind of enjoy my Sunday. And that's basically what we're going to be doing. So we're going to start with Fake Grand Order, which uh, pretty soon, and by I mean pretty soon. The only thing I have left to do, because basically we're in a waiting period until Summer 3. And Summer 3 starts after the um, the uh, the maintenance that we're going to be getting. So we're going to be getting maintenance at the time of reset. And then after four hours, it will be the banner will be up. And then we'll be summoning and playing the new events, in theory anyway. So before that time, I have to basically waste my time and get my stamina. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's what... I'm doing this one. So what am I doing right now is that I'm trying to get these free quartz. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for very specifically a Scotty friend. Actually, I'm going to choose this one because I don't think I've... No, damn it. Don't. Why are you 1-1? One, one... Oh, you're not even level. Never mind. Forgive me. I didn't notice that you were almost not done. That works for me. So go in here. Yeah, getting ready for summer 3 by getting some of the last bit of free quartz that I can get before the big banner. Um, which I will be, of course, summoning like, not crazy on actually, now that I think about it, but I'll be summoning a decent amount, hoping for Ushi. But man, it's still hot, by the way, in California right now. Um, I hate the heat so much. You have no idea how much the heat drains me of my strength like it's Superman. I complain about this, I think, in almost every single video I do of a gacha when I feel the heat. I feel it real bad right now. Real bad. Unbelievable levels of bad. Um, I should also give an update on some of the gachas I've been playing while I'm grinding in Fate Grand Order. Um... I've been playing a lot of gotchas, trying to distract myself. One of them, the the two I'm going to be showing here are, because you can actually tell, I try not to say what they are while I'm doing them, just because I'm like, oh, maybe someone just ignored the title and didn't notice that I always put the name of the thing on the games I'm playing. But I got really lucky in Dokkan, so I've been grinding a whole bunch in Dokkan. In general, I've been grinding more than ever in Dokkan because of my crazy luck. One, because of the level link system update, which has been great. And two, I actually was able to pull Gohan um, and the, the, the Kai pretty easily. So I was like, all right, cool. I guess I'm playing Dokkan in the regular rotation. It's kind of replaced um, Bounty Rush as my third game I play the most of. Because uh, the, currently of my games that I play the most of, I think it is... Uh, currently it is Dokkan... Fake Grand Order and Dragalia. Uh, and then if there was a fourth, it would be Pitter Patter Pop. And if there was a fifth, um, it'd probably be Puzzles and Dragons. And then if there was a sixth, it would be uh, Bounty Rush. And if there was a seventh, it's Chris Crestia, the Tales of Crestia, which I uh, have not played much of because that game runs like crap on my phone. And I just. I don't know about you, but if I the performance in the game I'm playing on my phone is just bad, I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it very much. So that's my been my excuse for why I haven't really been playing much of it. I actually think I might have enough for a summon in Crystoria, so let me actually go there and see if I have enough for a multi. So BRB real quick. Ooh, I got an ice! Alright, so I don't have enough for a multi, but I have enough for at least a single to show you. Just look at how bad it runs on my phone! Look at this! This game actually looks pretty decent when you look at it and um, something that's not in what feels like super terrible definition. Here's another annoying thing, I can't flip it. So the way I specifically have to play my gotchas it has to be from a certain angle, which is the charger point, ha charger point has to be on the left hand side. And I can't play it properly that way with uh the reason it's like that is because that's the only place where i can play my charger so all my gotchas kind of have to adapt to that specific point and crestia for some reason doesn't flip 
like if you know what I'm talking about when you flip with one of these games usually if you face it on the right side um, it will adjust to the screen that you have. Crestia does not do that with me and it's super annoying. It's another reason why I haven't played much of it but let me show you what happens when I hit the summon button. Look! Look at this! It runs like straight garbage! Oh it runs so bad! It's like super framey. Just not good. Oh, Kratos, hello. I actually know you. Can I actually just summon? I'm gonna summon the rest of these to see if I can get a summer person. I can may as well just say I really do like tail stuff. So it kind of makes me sad that I can't play this game very well. Look, this fucking frame rate is unbelievably bad. <laughs> I have to get a new phone. Hello, boy. Whoever you may be. Summon again. Boom. I'm currently playing upside down because the, also the only way I can capture this game is from a very specific point, so I can't even... Can't do nothing, man. Alright, I got a four. Can it be a five? No, it's just straight up a four. Which four is it? I got Jade. Cool. So I'll hit that summon again. I want to see if I can get one of the- I only got two SSRs. One of them is Lloyd and the other one is not Lloyd. I think it's a girl. I think it's a girl and I really like the look of girl. Hello boy, once again. Let's try another one. Man. Well, I got a four so I don't feel that bad about not having enough for a multi-summit. This fucking frame rate! This is so... Every time it happens, this is the part where it reveals actually this is how it plays on every single game, like everyone's game. And if your game plays like that, I'm... Maybe I shouldn't just get into Crestia. Maybe that's the actual answer to everything. Skip. Thank you. I like this summon music, though. I mean, I'm not pulling shit, but whatever. This is my last summon. Oh, I got Kratos again. How apropos. Alright. I spent more time with Chris. Ugh, so bad. Anyway, let's move on to the next gotcha, shall we? And here he is. Oh yeah. Got him. Doing his famous let's a go phase. Let's see, can I see his um ultimate form? I forget if I can from here. I'm almost positive you can, I just don't remember how. There it is. Yeah. So this video is not about him, actually, which is very sad, is that I haven't, I haven't actually been able to use him. Um, what I am going to be doing is uh, grinding out the rest of the SA for Grant, for this freaking Kai man over here that I keep forgetting the name of. And that's basically all I'm going to be doing, where I need to get that, yeah. Uh, I pulled him in my first multi, and then in the second multi, Gohan showed up. It would be real nice if I got both of them, but that's not how fate worked out for me. Uh, but I don't mind. It gives me something to do. So I haven't actually even been able to start the new event yet just because I've been busy grinding out his SA levels. The, for the, the, the Supreme Kai, I believe is one. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name, but he literally just doesn't do anything. That's why I'm like oh, having a hard time remembering his name right now. I know when he fuses, it's Kibido Kai. So I know Kibido and I know Kai. So I'm gonna just say Supreme Kai. Because Grand Kai is the old one. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen... Speaking of getting... His shit rocked, here's... Here's him just completely being destroyed by uh, Vegito Blue. Ooh, three. Three is the most I've ever gotten, I think. Thank you for these level ups. I'm gonna need them because they transform. So, I'm leveling up a bunch of different links for them. Nice. Building my way up there, man. Three, that's nice. Alright, let me see how many I actually need from this dude, because it turns out I might have too much with that. He's an int. That's Gohan, that's Goten. Forgive me for saying that, they all look the fucking same, so it doesn't actually matter. Alright, we'll do it at the end here. But we got three, so that's not enough by itself. Alright, let's go back. Back to the grinding. Back to the old grindstone. But yeah, the, the grinding in Dokkan has been very helpful for, you know, just making me feel better, giving me something to distract my mind with. 
Speaking of distracting my mind with, I've finished Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, I believe it's what it's called. Um, the Bloodstained game that is the 3D um, Metroidvania of uh, Iga's, the kickstarted game that he made, basically. Uh, I really did not like it by the end. Which is a shame, because I did a video on it where I played it for the first time. I was actually really liking it in the beginning. And then by the end of it, I just couldn't care less about it. It was like, I didn't think the combat was very fun. I didn't think the bosses were very fun. Near the end, they got I got some interesting bosses, but for the most part, all of them were just like, not good boss design at all. I think I beat half of that game by picking, by finding the bunny outfit and then just drop kicking dudes. Um, drop kicking entire bosses because I could just jump on their head and there was no way for them. I broke their animation cycle and they just died. Which I don't know, I guess at a certain point it's like, oh, you can do that, but I don't, I don't, I don't think that's very good. If your game can just break to a bunch of bunny kicks, I don't think it's very good then. Yeah, design-wise, but yeah, I just didn't like it. I don't think it offers anything new. I don't think the story is very good. I don't think most of the characters are very good, except for maybe the main character who I ended up liking by the end. Just because she was, like, wearing shades the entire time. But the second she took off the shades, I no longer cared for her. Uh, that's just the sad thing about it. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I liked um, David Hayter as Zen Zangetsu. Because it was David Hayter doing a snake voice with a man with a sword. So, I'd have to just be a big old Metal Gear hater to not like that. And I love David Hayter. I love hearing his voice. And seeing him play basically a solid snake but with an anime sword was pretty cool. The full realization of um, Raiden, finally. But yeah, I was really bummed out about it. Just because, like, <laughs> that now makes it what, in my personal opinion, that's a th that's a three miss combo from all the big Kickstarters from I think Japanese people. Because uh, Kinjai and Ifune, Mighty Number no. Nine, that's a failure. The one thing that I'll, I guess I will say is that I think other people really like Bloodstain, so that's when I say, like, failure, I put that in quotes, because I think a lot of people see Iga as the one person who actually made... Um, and when you know what, to be fair, I don't think his game is as bad as Mighty Number no. 9. I think it's definitely 100% actually a cohesive game, um, and not just a bunch of fucking half-assed concepts through, get, thrown together. Even though sometimes I think Bloodstain is actually a bunch of half assed concept thrown together. That's not true. When it's actually a bunch of old concepts trying to be redone and not done in a very good way. Um, trying to be modernized, but then not realizing that the modern things that they've given to this old thing is actually bad. Um, is how I see it, actually. Because it turned out like, oh, what if it had a bunch of this stuff you see in modern games? And the answer is like, I don't want any of this stuff in games. Like, I didn't want any of the crafting. I I did it, but I felt like it was such a big waste of time. Like, it wasn't fun. I don't know how you feel about crafting. Because I didn't grow up with Minecraft, so I was never indoctrinated into the idea that crafting in video games is fun. I've never thought crafting anything was fun. Never once. It's different when, I guess, it's a house. But stuff like crafting weapons, I think, is lame. <laughs> I think it's stupid. I don't think it's good. Um... At least that's how I think about it. I mean, if you like that stuff, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, hit you in the ribs and say what a what a dweeb. But uh, no, nah, not for me. Not really. I mean, I like um, Don't Starve. I think Don't Starve is pretty good. But that's because you could like, I guess Don't Starve is short, I, and which Bloodstain is not short. But anyway, to get back to my original point. Um, I think almost all the big Kickstarters, except for a very few, I think actually only one has not disappointed me, and that was the Double Fine adventure game, just because that is exactly what I expected. It was an adventure game, so anyone who was expecting anything bigger was, I think, kind of wrong. And they were always super transparent with everything, as long as you saw that documentary. If you ever want to see a fantastic um, documentary on game design, by the way, you should watch that Double Fine um documentary because i will give it to the dudes at double fine they could have asked because let me tell you kenji and ifune just did hired the same documentary company and he has specifically blocked them from releasing the documentary based off of mighty number no. nine because the things that they showed with the double fine thing 
was like showing the process in such a way that was like, oh yeah, this is where we messed up and this is where we just did that. So the idea of actually admitting to your mistakes is maybe why we'll never see the Mind Number no. 9 documentary. That was kickstarted, by the way. I'm pretty sure that was promised as one of the Kickstarter things and they never delivered it. Um, which is real fucked up for a bunch of different reasons. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to see like an extremely interesting and especially uh, like... Especially, I think the documentary is actually ten times better than the game. Just because it's so fascinating to, like, look at and be, like, an examin examination of, like, what goes into actual gaming and how much is it. So many people think, like, when you make a game, you're like, oh, this is all um, calculated and, like, screwing everyone over. And the answer is, like, no, it's not. The answer is that there's actual real-ass people behind it. And then they go, oh, no. No one expected this terrible thing to show up. <laughs> So now we have to kind of deal with the consequences. Like, when they, they address, like, I think, close to episode one, it's like, by the way, the amount of Kickstarter money that we made, we thought we were getting all that. We weren't, which is why Fig exists. Fig exists as a way to actually invest because they turned out, like, one, Kickstarter was taking too much of the money to those being made for the, the creating of games. Um, at least that's how they felt about it. And I was like, okay. I mean, that's true. I mean... They're, all they're doing is really hosting the site. I don't think they needed all those thousands of dollars. But, you know, whatever. That's the end of today's Gotcha Weekend Update, everyone. I hope you had a fun time uh, watching me do yell frame rate and grind up Kai's and talk about stuff. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Remember, if you ended up liking this, remember to hit that like button. Uh, it helps me a whole bunch. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised anyone likes any of these Gotcha Weekend Updates, <laughs> which is really funny. Uh, to me to think of like, oh, people like these? That's that's crazy. But anyway, till next time, everyone. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next weekend. And next video as well. Goodbye.